rising in the Bahamas tonight as relief and rescue operations are kicking into high gear. U.S. forces already working around the clock. Here are some of the latest sights and sounds from the rescue effort. We're still looking for the rest of our family. We're beginning now to, to get on the ground, get our people in the right places. And that's why I'm here to give up. This is the least I can do. Right now, our, our biggest challenge is the conditions that we're seeing on scene. The weather has been severe. This has really hampered our search efforts. It's terrible, and the looting has started. Uh, you know, we're all wearing the same clothes that we escaped this house in. We don't know. She needs medical attention. Is it your mama? Or Not my mama? mama, but like my mama. So as we get a better picture of the utter devastation across the Bahamas, let's talk to the Salvation Army's divisional commander who's there on the ground in the hurricane-stricken islands, Major Clarence Ingram. Sir, thank you for joining us. Uh, when we see these images coming out of where you are now, it, it's hard to know even where to begin. How do you decide who to help, how to help in a situation this devastating? Uh, right now, we're just uh, on the ground in Grand Bahama, uh, reaching out to as many people as we can. Uh, there are so many that it's, it's really overwhelming, but we are able to begin to supply food and clothing and some emergency relief to uh, the people that we are able to reach out and contact at this point. Uh, obviously, there are many, many thousands more that we are able to uh, assist at this point, but it's a beginning. Uh, we have amassed uh, a large amount of uh, uh, supplies in Florida, just arranging transportation now to Grand Bahama so that we can make it a much larger effort and reach many more people in a very short while. Um, Major, how does this compare to other disasters and places where you've been in your years of service? This one is uh, the worst that I have seen. I, I have in the last four or five years uh, visited uh, Hurricane uh, Joaquin, Hurricane Matthew, uh, Hurricane Maria, Hurricane Irma. Uh, Irma was really bad, certainly in Turks and Caicos, Barbuda, that area. This one is uh, worse in many ways simply because the storm stalled and just kept over these islands for such a very long time. The New York Times describes it this way. They say families pick through the ruins of their homes, many of them too overwhelmed to fathom the next steps. Hope was in short supply Wednesday as officials warned of an impending health crisis. The risk of contaminated water supplies loomed large. What do you anticipate in the coming days, sir? Well, I think it's going to be more of the same until we get a large amount of supplies in there. I understand now that the airport is uh, beginning to open up during daylight hours for emergency relief flights only. Uh, so that's a good start that we can start to get some uh, goods on the ground in there to help them. Uh, but it's going to be uh, a rough few days until we can get a major amount of supplies in, uh, particularly water and food, uh, hygiene supplies. Uh, obviously, a lot of our people that have been uh, impacted have nothing but the clothes on their back right now. And uh, we have a, a large job just to uh, provide basic needs at this point. Well, Major Clarence Ingram with the Salvation Army, we thank you and everyone else uh, with your group who is down there working. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, and again, uh, if people want to help, if they would go to helpsalvationarmy.org and make a donation, that would be much appreciated. I guarantee you our viewers are very good at doing that, and they will, sir. Thank you.